Airbus new plane is creating a storm of excitement and there's a lot of buzz about it. But have you ever wondered what it will be like? Sure, it promises to be exceptional, but what makes it stand out? That plane of the future could be called the A350-2000, a highly anticipated version. After watching today's episode, you might be wondering, why didn't Airbus build it sooner? So let's answer these questions in today's episode. The Boeing 777X was once expected to be a flagship product in the aviation industry, renowned for its superior fuel efficiency, extended range, and large passenger capacity. This aircraft was designed to dominate the long haul market, becoming the ideal choice for airlines facing pressure to cut fuel costs and reduce emissions. Initially slated for release in 2020, the 777X was considered a top-notch solution for carriers seeking economic efficiency and environmental friendliness. However, from a highly ambitious project, the program quickly ran into numerous issues. Problems with the engines, structural failures during durability tests, and a series of delays have disrupted progress for several years. Most recently, a critical flaw was discovered at the connection point between the engine and the wing, forcing Boeing to halt all test flight operations of the 777X due to safety concerns. The issue lies with a crucial component known as the thrust linkage, which is responsible for transmitting power from the engine to the aircraft's fuselage. During a test, this component broke, resulting in a serious failure that could compromise the overall stability of the aircraft during long-haul operations. Boeing is currently racing to fix and redesign this part, but this poses a significant challenge that is not easy to overcome. Even more concerning, the redesign process will incur enormous costs and require a considerable amount of time. The plan to have the 777X operational by 2025 is now looking increasingly fragile, while the patience of major customers like Qatar Airways and Emirates is wearing thin. For this reason, now is the ideal time for Airbus to seize the moment and gain an advantage. Boeing's troubles are creating a favorable opportunity for Airbus to roll out its new version, the A350-2000, a stretched variant of the already successful A350-1000. The A350 features a modern design and high fuel efficiency and has proven its reliability through actual operations. This makes it an attractive option for airlines seeking an alternative to the 777X. With the A350-2000, Airbus not only creates a direct competitor to the 777X, but also avoids the complex technical issues that Boeing is currently facing. Boeing has created opportunities for Airbus over and over again. Do you feel that opportunities are the most important factor in Airbus's success? In addition, Airbus building a wide-body aircraft reminds us of an A380. Do you think Airbus should build this stretch version or go back to continuing to produce the king of the skies? A380 in the context of major airlines rushing to bring the A380 back into service. If your answer is A350, comment 1, A380, then comment 2. Airbus can extend the fuselage of the A350 by approximately 4 meters, thereby increasing the aircraft's capacity by an additional 40 seats in economy class. Such a move can be viewed as a game changer, providing Airbus with an advantage in capturing market share from airlines that have grown weary of the issues and delays associated with the 777X. What makes the concept of the A350-2000 stand out is its simplicity and approach. Instead of investing in and developing an entirely new aircraft from scratch, Airbus can fully leverage the proven and reliable platform of the A350-1000, a model that has already demonstrated success in operational performance and reliability. This represents a significant enhancement for airlines seeking optimal operational efficiency on long-haul routes. By extending the fuselage length, Airbus avoids the time and cost associated with redesigning complex components, such as the wings or landing gear. These critical elements have already been optimized for long-haul flights and high-capacity operations, allowing the company to sidestep the risks and lengthy recertification processes that often accompany new aircraft development programs. If the new aircraft focuses on lengthening the fuselage, does it make you feel excited and ready for the experience? With this approach, Airbus can retain the critical components without undergoing the complex and costly processes associated with redesigning and recertifying intricate systems such as flight controls or engine systems. This means not only saving on costs and time, 
but also maintaining consistency in performance and safety, as the fuselage structure of the A350-1000 has been validated through years of commercial operation, demonstrating its stability and efficiency. So Airbus will be able to bring the A350-2000 version to market much faster than the time it will take Boeing to address and resolve the ongoing issues with the 777X, thus effectively seizing the opportunity to gain a competitive advantage. Airbus has also promised on its official website that a new low-emission aircraft will be developed using lightweight, durable, and sustainably sourced materials such as advanced composites, biofibers, and bio-based plastics. Design options will extend to the overall architecture of the aircraft in the future, from the engines and their placement on the fuselage to the wingspan and even the folding wingtips. Each choice must optimize aerodynamic efficiency. Therefore, we can be confident about the future of a superlative the 2000 variant. While Boeing is struggling with issues across its aircraft lineup, including the latest 777X, Airbus, with its proven A350 in terms of operational efficiency and stability, can quickly seize the opportunity by introducing the extended version A350-2000 in a significantly shorter time frame. This would not only provide Airbus with a substantial competitive advantage in the wide-body aircraft market, but also offer airlines an immediate solution to meet their long-haul route demands at a time when Boeing is still grappling with unresolved challenges. There are certain advantages for Airbus to undertake this program. First and foremost, Airbus's biggest strength is its existing resources and infrastructure, which are already in place to kickstart the A350-2000 project. Currently, Airbus is working on other major projects, all progressing according to timelines that would align well with its future development. For example, the A321XLR, which is now in its final flight testing phase, has required extensive technical expertise and a significant workload from its engineers. Once this project concludes, Airbus will have a team of top experts with relevant experience ready to focus on this project without facing any resource shortages or development disruptions. In addition, Airbus is currently working on the A350 freighter variant, which demonstrates the company's capability and capacity to manage multiple large-scale projects simultaneously while maintaining high quality. A unique aspect of the freighter is that it shares many similarities with the passenger version of the A350. This means that any experience gained or technical improvements made during the development of this freighter model can be seamlessly applied to the A350-2000 without having to start from scratch. This approach enables Airbus to optimize both time and resources when developing a new variant like this aircraft. Of course, every big decision comes with difficulties. The biggest obstacle Airbus faces when developing the A350-2000 2000 is primarily related to its engine. Currently, this aircraft is powered by Rolls-Royce's Trent XWB engines, which are highly efficient but feature a relatively smaller fan size compared to Boeing's G9X engines. While this is not an issue for the 1000 variant, it could become a limitation for the larger A350-2000 variant. However, Rolls-Royce is actively researching upgrades to the XWB platform by incorporating technologies from its Ultrafan program. These advancements could potentially enhance the engine's thrust, making the new aircraft not only feasible, but also a highly competitive option in the market. Even without the ideal engine, Airbus still holds an advantage due to the lightweight composite structure of the A350. The A350 platform has shown significantly better performance compared to the 777X. Estimates suggest that the A350-2000 could potentially lower operating costs by up to 10% and reduce per seat costs by 5% compared to the 777X, a critical factor for airlines striving to co cut expenses in the post-pandemic era. Thus, the rationale for developing it is quite clear. Airbus could face relatively low development costs and the aircraft would enter the market just as Boeing continues to struggle with the 777X's ongoing issues. This could indeed be the golden opportunity Airbus has been waiting for. So what's holding Airbus back? The company might be waiting for feedback from airlines regarding recent enhancements in the A350-1000's cabin, particularly the switch to a 10 abreast seating configuration. While the 1000 model can accommodate a passenger load comparable to the 777X, if the market indicates a demand for an even larger aircraft, Airbus might be ready to greenlight the A350-2000 project. If this happens, Airbus has the potential to become a savior for airlines 
frustrated by the continuous delays of the 777X and to offer a more reliable and efficient aircraft. This would be a smart move, strengthening Airbus's leadership position in the wide-body long-haul aircraft market. So, should Airbus proceed with the development of the A350-2000, or would that be too risky a decision? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you've made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with the latest aviation news.